All right, welcome to the 2015 Summer Anoka Technical College Public Speaking Debate. This year we will be debating whether or not college education should be free. Arguing the affirmative, we have Dimitri, and arguing the negative or the opposition, we have Franklin. Our first speakers will attempt to gain the audience's attention with facts and research. Hi everyone, my name is Dmitry Oguri and uh, today I'll argue for free education. I'm a tier one. Uh, what does education mean to you, to all of us? Education is a powerful tool and uh, I think everybody should have an access to it. Not only rich people or their children, but regular people, usual people. Today, not everybody can afford the high cost of tuition. It is, it is expensive. Uh, that's why many people don't know what to do after high school. They go to McDonald's or Walmart and they wasting time. Their brain is working nice till 25, but they just wasting time. Currently, only 30% of Americans uh, who start college or university end up graduating. And the biggest reason why is uh, they cannot afford the high cost of tuition. Uh, take hold of your future. Support free education. Time. I'm Franklin Dingwa. I'm for <coughs> the fact that education is for him. It's very important and we need to pay for it. Uh, higher education is not water in the ocean, but it is a mineral water. You can take the water or drink the water from the sea as much as you want because it is not made in the US or in Canada. On the other hand, the, on the other hand, the water, the, the mineral water, is being produced by someone, or it's being produced by someone or other enterprise, which, who, who has spent a lot of investment in it. Higher education is like water mineral that is being processed by a professor who has spent a lot of investment in it. So we need so we need to pay for education. So education doesn't need to be free. The next phase in this debate, each speaker will attempt to establish need by explaining the problem and overarching details about this debate. And, uh, so what is free education? Free education is, uh, I, I would consider free education isn't totally free. I consider that it would be a very low cost education. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, different ways on how to pay for free education, for, you know, the minor cost of the cost, and how it will save you money in your pocket for years to come. We also, uh, you know, we're going to talk have the stories about people who were actually paying for for uh, education 25 years after school. Uh, Bob Samuels, who is the president of the University Council, Council at US, UCLA, said uh, that most 18 to 24 year olds who are in college said <coughs> would reduce if, if most 18 and 24 year olds are in college, it would reduce unemployment rate by two million people. There would be fewer people you know, in need of uh, government services and also uh, that would save uh, the government 
by a, a $2.5 billion each year. So there's a lot of different reasons why we're going to have free education, that we would like to have free education in the United States. You know, besides, we'll talk about other countries that do have a free education that does work for them. Free education should be for everybody. Yeah, there's plenty of families who can't afford to go to school. We need to support this. It's very important to us that, uh, that most people have a free education. Um, so, you know, the, the amount of families that people can't afford life after school, so it, for, it's really important for us to, to get to have this. Um, I think that'd be it for me. All right, I'm Jennifer Bornington, and I am arguing <clears throat> against having free education. Education is key, and for most, higher education means success. You basically have to, you basically have to spend money to make money. Nothing, nothing is free. You know, you get what you pay for. If you pay nothing, your the quality is going to be a lot less, and you're technically going to be getting not a great education as if you're going to be paying for a great education because. There will be, you know, professors will probably feel that there is more of a pressure since his students, his or her students, are be paying are paying for the <clears throat> the education that they receive. You, there's a quote by Lyndon B. Johnson that he's, and he said, "We believe that is you and I that education is not an expense. We believe it is an investment. You can't be handed something for free. Technically, there are um, different things to factor in if you are going to a university." Are you, going to be, are you going to be living in a dorm or are you going to choose an apartment? You're still going to have to pay for that, that rent and then you're also going to have to pay any transportation, books, food, etc. So it's not all going to be, you know, zero dollars coming out of your pocket. The state would also suffer if they would have to pay. They would have to tax any of the, um, they would have to tax everybody to make, and, and meet the quality of the campuses would suffer as well. There would be loss of campuses. Well, I would think if there is, um, there's going to be a, a lot of universities that are going to be opening because it's free, you know, offering more people. I, I don't think it would be as great of a college if you were to pay for it. And employees wouldn't be paying what they deserve. It would be as if you're in high school. They're just there just to get paid. People would also take school for granted, I believe, because. From personal experience, my GPA is a lot better in college since I'm paying for it than it was in high school by the, so much. As I was saying with the taxpayers, um, it could lead to a kind of kind of a rebellion kind of back in. Our third phase will include both speakers attempting to offer resolutions for the audience. Supporting free education. Free education, people are like, that sounds great, but how are you going to get free education? Free education can be gained not just by the government. I was reading online that you, um, Tennessee offers a free community college where the lottery, uh, the state lottery, has provided them over three million dollars of funds every year for free education for that college. My dad works up, works in the lottery service too in Minnesota. And he says that they provide, they donate about one million to one point five million dollars every year to some colleges for to provide grants for students. Uh, free education isn't just by what the government would give you. Free education is also by businesses. I'm going to the architecture field, and I know many companies who are offering me money to go and study further, and they would pay for my college and my tuition to be completely free. Free education. 
free education isn't just about the government. I know people will be like, taxes will go up, and it's not just about taxes. I think free education is a right, and everybody deserves this right. The cost of college is, have gone up by 1,200% since 1978. Time. My name is Emily Holly, and I am opposing the free tuition. Um, from what Jenny said, there's too many degrees that could come from free education, and from economic needs or .org, so that if too many graduates are buying for the same job, then a lot of people are not going to get that job. Like they're going to work at McDonald's or Burger King because there's not enough jobs to support all the degrees. Same with technical schools. If you get free tuition, technical schools like this one and many other ones will go down, and like plumbers, welders, mechanics, and like electricians won't be around anymore because so many people are going to want to get their doctor degree or become a lawyer or go something where it's a lot more money. But we're now so many of those that the small business, like blue collar people, won't exist anymore. And this girl from Fox Business News, her name was Santa Garitus. From her freshman year in college, she raised cows to help pay for her tuition in college. And that really helped her out. So if you go budget right and plan ahead, then you will get money for college tuition. Same with financial aid, there's scholarships, there's loans that you can help to get um, college stuff. And go to the army.com and they can help pay for your tuition too. If you serve your country, they'll help you pay for your education. Our fourth phase, speakers will attempt to offer vivid imagery or a clear problem of their position. and today I'm supporting free education. Free, edu free, educa free education is something that everybody has a right to. Free education provides families with better future. People right now who can't, for my family, my mom works at McDonald's and she, she can't, if I was just living with her and my dad wasn't there or something was to happen to my dad, God forbid, tomorrow, I wouldn't be able to afford anything basically. Free education shouldn't just be for people who are wealthy. Free education should be for everybody, the minorities, everybody with different race. I know colleges around the world who provide people with free education, and free education doesn't just help us as individuals. It helps the economy. It helps the economy by having better people who, um, it helps people by, um, free education helps people by Free education helps people by um, getting a better future and step and going to college for for something for whatever they're pursuing in college. And the benefit is extensive uh, boost to the economy, and we could get people to go to college for what they normally wouldn't go to if they were a part of if they were part of paying for colleges. We would have people go into dance, go into arts, go into whatever they desire to study, rather than going to a field where they feel like they can get a job. So people can go and study for what they want to study, not just based off of what they want to work for and get money for. Um, it develop it can help develop leaders in a society too. And each, and I said each grants can be provided by different um, companies. And for my parents, if my parents, if I had free education, my mom's usually not well. She's not working. She works two days a week, and she can't afford to work. And if there was free education, we would be able to have more benefits in our life and be able to pay off more things in, in the house just rather than my education. Hi, my name is Robert Barchway. I'm going to help you see why education shouldn't be free. First, I'll, I'm going to say saturation. Saturation is a major factor when you think about free education. It's, it's going to affect all areas and making education free. It, it's, it's, it's a bad thing to consider. Uh, think, uh, it's very outrageous already when you think about it. There are a lot of people that have degrees that they're not using, and making education free ultimately means everybody's going to be going for something, and 
by the end of the day, you know, they don't want it, they'll go back and try a couple of times and, you know, it's already a problem we're trying to face, we're trying to get everybody to work in the fields that they want to work in. And for that reason, education cannot be free. It needs to be regulated, it needs to be paid for, just like any other service. Also, to visualize a downturn in progress when within the post-secondary institution. Um, you can see many students taking college less serious by just making it free. You just see, it's already, people have a mindset of going to school, you know, just for fun, drinking, all of that. Making it free ultimate, ultimately is gonna make it worse. It's just gonna make it worse. Government is gonna find money and put it in place for people to attend college, to gain knowledge and become doctors Meanwhile, there's nothing they're aiming for. So you're just gonna go and have fun, use government money, and then get out of it and want jobs that they can't even find. Thirdly, I'll say there will be a declination in the quality of higher education. You will find instructors that are not motivated enough, you know, motivated enough to be here to teach you because they She's already, oh, he's already overwhelmed with the amount of students that is out there that she's trying to lecture. This is really a problem already, and we're trying to solve that. We can't make education free. Certainly cannot. Thank you. For our next phase, both teams will take a short intermission as they deliberate before cross-examinations and the conclusion of this year's debate. For our fifth phase, the cross-examination will include questions to examine and cross-oppose their opponents. Cross-examiners? Education isn't a service, it's a right. So why should only the rich have access to education? People who did well in higher education deserve free college education. With free education, fewer people will be in need of government assistance because they will have an education to enhance their jobs. And with free education, it would cut down the unemployment rate by two million people. Also, I don't believe that the government paying for education would make the schools be worse quality. If the government were to be paying for education, wouldn't that make them want to be sure that kids are getting good education? as there was no credible sources in the for for education. It didn't seem like they could have got that information from down the street from this guy. And it seemed they played the sympathy card a lot, especially in one speaker's debate. They didn't really they didn't, they didn't really have to do anything with what they were speaking about. It was just they were bringing up the sympathy card, hoping maybe to get the audience's sympathy, maybe changing their vote to that team. If it's, it technically is not free. Where do you plan on living if it's free? Are you gonna live in a dorm? Most schools, room and board is not included in your tuition. Where you, how are you gonna pay for food? Those are expenses. Books, that's not included. Same with transportation. If you're gonna be living in an apartment down the street from your school, how in the world are you gonna get there? Are you gonna take a bus? That is an expense, not free. If you were to go to a doctor and he went to a college, paid for his paid for his entire education, has a PhD, super successful, and very dedicated to his to his field, would you rather go to him? I I personally would rather go to him because he would be more, he would have more talent at what he does versus somebody who just got handed to him. Thanks. Now we 
will have each team respond to the cross-examinations offered by their opponent. Our opponents talked about, you know, how, how dorms and bus expenses and other expenses that don't have to actually do with education. Uh, you know, most people will have to get a job and be able to go there. You know, if, if you're going to, with your education now, you're, if they're not paying for, you know, you going to school, they're paying for you, they're not paying for you going into your dorms or your buses as is, and we don't expect, that's not what we're talking about when we talk about for education. We're talking about helping individuals that can uh, that cannot afford to go to school to have that chance to go to school. We're also talking about people who do well in school to actually have an opportunity to keep going on to in higher education. There's too many people in this world today that cannot go to school, and and they should. They're, they're very smart. They're very highly educated. They did well in high school. But they just can't actually go to school. And there's also too many families that have to dig way in their pockets who can't afford life after school. Now we talked about doctors. Well, I would go to any doctor because they have to pass the same test that doctors that would have to pay for school. I mean, it wouldn't matter to me which doctor. I mean, you still have to go and take a medical board test and do everything. They still have to do everything the same. Quality school, I don't think is going to matter on that, that the tests and everything else, you know, that they have to take. You know, as far as expenses go, uh, we, we believe that you need to pay for your own way and people should have a job and go to school at the same time. It's an important uh, reality. So basically, we hope you take our view on this. Thank you. College is not a right, it's a service. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you have to go to college. There's not like a right in there. So it technically is a service because it's your decision to go or not. Kind of like if you go to the dry cleaners, it's your decision not to go there. It's not a right saying because you're a businesswoman, you have to go to the dry cleaners. I mean, it's, it's your right to go there. It's your right to go to school if you want to, but the service because you chose to. And on debate.org, it's a place where students can actually go on there and say what they want to say, it's their own opinion. And there's a guy on there that said, I wouldn't take school seriously if it was paid for by somebody else. Because it was a free ride, I would just party and do whatever I wanted to, it'd be like high school all over again. Be just take a sit down, free ride, you know, pass with like C's and D's, and I'd get my degree and go do what I want. You know, how is that fair to people who actually pay for it and want a good education or are passionate about it, but, or stuff with a guy like that because he just thinks it's a free ride and wants to go to school. So I think, I don't think it should be should be free because you're gonna have people like that all over the place. Our final phase in this year's debate will be a call to action where both speakers will offer a conclusion and specifically ask the audience to decide in their favor. position is education should be free and free education have many benefits most of them have the negative sides uh, it will improve graduation rate students will graduate faster uh, instead of going to part-time job or something like that and uh, in fact society with higher ed uh, of degree have lower crime rates. So uh, we need free education, and I hope you'll vote for free education. Thank you. Um, 
Hi, my name is Robert Bachway. I'm against um, allowing free education or higher education for this nation. I'll start with a quote uh, written by Brady, Brady Hug. Brady is uh, an author of the uh, magazine that he, uh, he published. It says, uh, higher education is a luxury not everyone chooses to partake of. Instead, it certainly shouldn't be offered as a right, but should be paid for like any other service. And I think he's right when he says that. And also for the sake of scholarships, which we all been lazy to apply for, there's millions of money out there, people that have given their life, and then you know they're offering scholarship, you know, for everyone to partake. And we're just lazy to partake in these things. It's free money. If you look at Fastweb on fastweb.com. It's a lot of scholarship you can apply. You know, I get emails every day that tells me you have one hundred and sixty thousand dollars of scholarships out there if you apply. And if you could just apply every day while you're in high school, by the time you get to college, suddenly you have some money to go to school. It's possible to pay for college. Thank you. This concludes this year's debate. Please take time, leave your comments below, and offer us your thoughts about the winner of this year's debate. Thank you.